you guys remember from my birthday vlog, I put these plants in these jars to propagate and it hasn't been that long and they are already starting to grow. It's so cool. Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a fun weekend vlog. I have a lot of cool stuff going on this weekend and I wanted to share it with you guys, so welcome. If you're new to my channel, I'm not showing my hair yet, so this is all you get of me. Uh, my name's Zoe, but I would love for you to stick around and subscribe, check out my other videos. And if you're new or what? And if you're new or if you're not, give this video a big thumbs up because it helps the algorithm and it makes me happy and it lets me know that you guys like videos like this. So I just woke up pretty much. I let myself sleep in this morning and it was fantastic. I had a busy week. I did vlog last week, so you can check out those videos. I will have them linked. I'm always vlogging. Um, maybe I need to stop. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I just made some lemon water this morning. This is a habit that I used to do that I'm trying to just get back into because it's healthy and whatever. I'm going to get my hair done later today, um, but before that I have a ton of videos that I need to edit. I want to film a video. I'm not sure how that's going to work with my hair, but I want to try filming a video. And then we're gonna head out to the hair salon. So I'm not sure how much time I actually have to do all of that, but I'm just taking it easy this morning. As usual, I try to start my mornings with journaling. The weekends are no excuse, and in fact, you have more time on the weekends. So I do two journals. This is my five minute journal. I know on Instagram, some of you guys, I know Mathilde got this journal, um, and I hope you're enjoying it. It's really, really great. It has prompts. Um, for every day morning and night. I usually only do the morning section because at night I forget <laughs> um, But it asks you for three things that you're grateful for three things that would make the day great and a daily affirmation So I really recommend this journal. I think it's also made by Canadians if I'm not mistaken um, So that's cool. I will have a link down below where you can purchase this if you're interested We can all five minute journal together and it will be so cool. Then the next one is my regular journal. So these just have, you know, regular lined pages. Oops. If you pause, you'll be able to zoom in on my secrets. Um, this journal is from the Baltic Club, a Montreal company. And I just write whatever is on my mind in here. Speaking of what's on my mind, I need to thank Hum Nutrition for sponsoring today's video. I've done videos with them in the past and I will talk about them later, but thank you Hum Nutrition for sponsoring today's video. The last thing that I want to do this morning is read a little bit from my book. Um, I am currently reading The Vanishing Half. My friend Eve started a book club um, with some of her girlfriends and so I'm in it. And we are, this is, and this is the book that we are currently reading. I'm not that far in yet. Um, we're working towards our halfway point for our first meeting. Um, but essentially this book is about two twin girls who grew up in the South um, and they are black but they are very fair skinned and they grow up in a town that fair skin is like, um, not idolized but is coveted. And so they, every generation they try and have their kids become lighter and lighter. And these two twins run away from the town and one of the twin chooses to um, like leave the other one afterwards and live her life as a white woman and the other one continues to live her life as a black woman. And then it just talks about them potentially coming back together, the life with their daughters. Um, so like I said, I'm not that far in, but so far it's really great and I'll keep you guys posted if I like it. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Breakfast is avocado toast with one egg. My mug and my plate are so cute and they're both from a Montreal ceramic artist called Moody Ceramics. And my latest TV obsession is currently Selling Sunset. I've taken a break from RuPaul's Drag Race. If you know, you know, that's literally the only thing I watch, but I'm obsessed with Selling Sunset right now. Peep my hair, um, gonna enjoy. I also need to start loading up my computer with the videos that I'm gonna edit. So yeah, we're having a great morning. It's, it's, it's great.
so I'm all ready to go. I'll show you guys my outfit in a sec. I'm bringing my laptop and a book with me to kind of keep me occupied while she does my hair. If I'm being honest, I'm a little bit nervous that she gets mad at me for like what I did, but we'll see how that goes. I'm taking an Uber because I'm late and if you guys know, you know, I've been trying to like work on saving money and this whole weekend I feel like it's just going to be very expensive and it kind of hurts, but I'm trying to just let go of any stress around money and just enjoy life too right like i think it's all about balance and like if you're late you're late and you got to take an uber what can you do i also this morning like didn't get nearly half of the things i wanted to get done today so i'm like a bit frazzled but i feel like once i leave the house i'll just calm down because i i have no choice i gotta breathe breathe so i breathe so this is my outfit i really really like it i'm wearing this top from princess polly it's kind of hard to see but it's actually like a little bit transparent um, and it's ribbed. This skirt is a vintage Levi's skirt with this like Western style belt. And then I'm just wearing my Reebok classic sneakers. I've got my mask on my wrist, my hat to hide my terrible hair. And this is my bag, just a little black leather tote bag. So I'm gonna go out front and catch my Uber. I'll see you guys at the hair salon. Walking home now, I am absolutely obsessed with my hair. Like, it's, yeah, it's perfect. It's what it should have been last time, but it's okay. She did such a good job. Anyway, I'll show you guys like a proper clip when I'm home, but yeah, it was done by Lindsay at Au Premier Spa on Monkland and NDG. Um, I'm just like, I'm so happy right now. So I am home from the salon. It was such a fun experience and I am obsessed with my hair. I kind of feel like a new person and I kind of love that. So yeah, we didn't cut it or anything. It's still all the same length, but we fixed up the blonde so the streak is very much more defined, a lot smaller, and we toned, we bleached it and then toned it down um, to this gorgeous like very light blonde which is exactly what I wanted I'm actually excited for the roots to grow out I feel like it's gonna look really cool and I just know I'm gonna have so much fun with these streaks like over the next few months I can put pink in it I can put purple we can tone it back um, after I do that and like I can make it go silver like anything I want I am just so excited so I feel like a million times better excited to see what it looks like when my hair is wavy because right now like I blow dried it straight so I'm curious about that <sighs> but I'm exhausted um, I'm now at my desk I need to finish editing my video for tomorrow so that's what I'm gonna do and then I'm actually going to the drive-in movies tonight with my best friend so that's gonna be really fun. I just, I'm having such a good day. I hope you guys are having an amazing weekend as you're watching this video. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'm just really happy. I wanna share that happiness with you guys. everybody we are walking to spin class this is my first spin class in months so i'm really excited last night we had like an entire summer in one day it was super fun and uh today's gonna be a good day as well so we're heading off to spin with jackie at b cycle if you guys remember like my old vlogs before quarantine you know i was there like so many times a week and i haven't been in like five months which is crazy but i'm really excited let's go As you guys saw this morning I went spinning it was 
fantastic. I missed it so much. Like I said, for those of you who maybe, you know, joined my channel during COVID, I used to go spinning like five times a week. I was addicted, obsessed. I actually used to work at B Cycle um, while working full time. I'm not doing that anymore, <laughs> but yeah, I did the class and it was so great. I'm gonna put you guys down. I did the class, it was so great, felt so good. Went for brunch afterwards with my friends and yeah, like it just, it just felt like life was kind of more normal and like I feel like we're really just taking advantage of, although it hasn't been a typical summer, like still taking advantage of the fact that we can have like a fun summer regardless. So today we're actually going to the beach. Um, like I said, like this is like one of the final summer weekends where we're just like, oh, we gotta do stuff. So I haven't been to the beach. I went once actually at the beginning of the summer. So this is like, oh, it's just so exciting. This is my outfit. It's really nothing special. Very, a very cropped top from Meshki. These shorts are from Zara and I've got my Detroit Tigers hat on. If anyone watching is from Detroit, comment below. I went to Detroit and watched a Tigers game and got this hat. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited to go to the beach. I'll talk to you guys then. Woo! <gasps> So that was a crazy weekend. We finished the day at the beach. However, what happened was we took a Bixie bike there, which is a bike sharing system. And when we left the beach, there was no Bixies on the island left. So we were on this little island outside of Montreal, obviously within biking distance. However, there was no bikes left. So we actually had to walk back because we didn't want to pay for an Uber. And it was a two hour walk, you guys. It was really pretty though. We got to see some really cool scenes. You got to see Montreal from a different angle that you never really get to look at it from, but my God, it was long. Afterwards, we were starving, so we decided to head downtown to our favorite dumpling place near Concordia University. I used to go there all the time when I was a student at Concordia, had some delicious dumplings, and that was a wrap on the night. I passed out like a baby. And here we are. So like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this video is sponsored by Hum Nutrition. Thank you so much to Hum for sponsoring today's video. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys the three vitamins that I've been taking for the past few months. I really, really like them. Um, I feel like they've been helping my skin a lot. And one of them, my favorite one, has been helping my digestion a lot. So let's start with that. That is the Flatter Me Vitamin. This is a digestive enzyme that really helps reduce bloating. You take it before a meal and I don't know how, but it seriously works. So I'm not promising that this is like a skinny pill or anything like that, but I am intolerant to a lot of foods and I'm really sub, like I suffer from a lot of bloating and this has been helping me tremendously. My second favorite is the Glow Sweet Glow. These are gummies, so they're really easy to take. Um, these are made with hyaluronic acid and vitamin C and E, so it's really good for your skin, also really good for your hair. One thing I've noticed is my nails have been growing so long and they haven't been breaking. Like, these are my real nails and like, look how long they are. I think it's because of the gummies. And the last one is the Mighty Night. This helps with overnight cell renewal. Oh my God, I can't speak. Overnight cell renewal for your skin and body. This one I think is harder to tell a difference from if I'm being honest, um, but I've been taking it at night and I feel great overall, so I think it's working. You guys can go on the Hum Nutrition website, take a quiz and get a report from a dietitian letting you guys know what would be your top three vitamins that you can take to help with whatever concerns you may be having that you mentioned in the quiz. Um, I really liked taking the quiz, it was really cool and you can actually chat with your dietitian once the quiz is done to ask questions about the vitamins, all of that. So I will have Hum linked below. Thank you again for sponsoring today's video. If any of you guys try out the vitamins, let me know your thoughts. And that is a wrap. That is actually a wrap on this weekend. And I feel like that is a wrap on this summer. Goodbye, summer 2020. You know, you were special. I'm not gonna say you sucked, but my God, it went fast. Am I the only one? Already you can feel like it's still August, but it's starting to get cooler at night. Um, the days are shorter and 
I don't know, it just really feels like a wrap on summer and I just really hope that the rest of 2020 brings good things to all of you guys. Um, I hope that you have a great fall and I'm not gonna see you guys anywhere, like I will see you guys. I'm not going anywhere is what I was trying to say. So I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye. Do anything for the cash, cash. Do anything for the